took you long enough. Busy with all the robbing and plundering, I presume. But what? Me? No. A treasure hunter and trail-worn traveler? Searching the world over for loss for relics of the past. <clears throat> so yeah, this is the, the thief that I remember playing. So yeah, I play him right after um, playing as Terra. I prefer the term treasure hunting. Ha! Semantic nonsense. There's a huge difference. <laughs> okay, dude. Anyway, is there something you need me to do? There is indeed. I met the girl. <gasps> you don't mean... That girl? The city guard is pursuing her as we speak. The city has the strength to stand up to the Empire, but it won't use it. The people are just too stubbornly independent to join an underground resistance group like the Returners. I tried to explain that the Empire was controlling the girl, but they wouldn't even listen. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, so you want me to get her out of Narsh. That would be the idea. Make your way to Figaro for the time being. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have such like a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> Not drinking enough water. Well, you found me pretty fast, dude. Like that was that was crazy fast. Okay, guards coming up from the bottom there, so we gotta go up. Now we've got her. Ooh, lots of lots of their big boar friends. Wonderful. There's a whole bunch of them. Koopa. It's okay, cause the Moogles will help. Moogles? Are you saying you want to help? Of course they do. Look how cute they are. Koopa. Use us to protect Terra from the guards. Would you like an explanation? Yeah? You'll fight using three different parties. Press... Uh... Press the L or, right, L or R button to switch between parties. Defeat the leader of the guards before his men reach Terra or the battle is lost. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so... You come there. You... This way, I guess. Aha, I see. Okay, so that's that's weird. That's weird. Everyone just attack. Just just murder them. Okay. So yeah, I'll just keep these people in these little bottleneck areas, right? first fight, so you are tip-top shape. Go for it. Oh no! That's still okay. Just have to make sure it doesn't happen again, or one of them might, might die. The second one might die. Okay. Okay, and I think these are all different classes, so I'm supposed to be, like, using them to, um, play different classes, I guess. But I'm not. I'm just letting them attack, so let's see what they can actually do. It looks like all these are just not actually anything special. Yeah, okay, these are just whatevers. So yeah, this is like a team of warriors. And then um, these guys over here, I think, have a special 
person. Yeah, they have dance. What does Twilight Requiem do? Let's find out. And the rest of them are just items. Okay, or just attack and items. Oh, nice. That was pretty, pretty nice. Okay. Cool. Is that all of them? Well, it certainly looks like it. Ah, here's the last one. I see. Okay, well, let's go ahead and steal. Just because I like to steal. Okay, we should probably start healing some people as well. Yeah, see if you can steal anything else. Nope. Ah! That's not good. Come back to life. We need you. Probably. You know, we don't have many items. Let's just... Let's just go. That's fine. It'll be okay. If we die, we die. Right? Okay, two of them are dead, so... Okay, it was still fine. Everything's great. We, we won. That's all that matters. Wasted a phoenix down is what I did. Thanks, Moogles. We are in your debt. Alright, let us abscond. That was some fast absconding. This switch ought to... So there's a path out of the city. Eh? You back with us now? You saved me? Save your thanks for the Moogles. Ugh, I can't remember a thing. It's like my mind's trapped in a fog. Whoa! You lost your memory? A man said it would come back eventually. So you've got amnesia. Don't worry, I won't leave your side till your memory returns. Huh? I'm not gonna up and abandon someone just because they've lost their memory. I'll keep you safe, I promise. What a good guy. She's just like, uh, okay, I guess. Sure, dude, whatever. Don't mind us, we're just leaving. Oh, I can actually just go up and talk to him. Okay. This is a school for the beginning adventurer. Despite all of our recent advances in technology, the world, the outside world remains full of monsters we know little about. Here, we provide advice to travelers brave enough to face its many dangers. Well, what kind of advice? What's up? Will you give me, like, a complimentary dagger? <laughs> a school for the beginning adventurer, despite our advances, we don't know a lot about some things. Yes. Okay, you told me that. Or he told me that. Someone told me that. This is water from a recovery spring. It will restore your hit points of magic. Such springs are all throughout the world. Okay. Very cool. If you set battle mode to wait, you can take all the time you want without having to worry about being attacked. Okay. You might find this room more useful after you've gained some experience out in the world. A lot of the things you'll hear might not make much sense until you've gotten your feet wet. Okay, well let's go through door number one, and then door number two, and all the other stuff. Okay, you save point. Yes, 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 okay. You'll automatically restart from the last place you saved. Any killer items will have to be found, but your level and experience will not change. Yep, that's pretty cool. The button you used to speak is number five. If you want to go back, use six, okay. Direction key to move, blah, blah, blah. Valuables are sometimes in pots like this one. Ether! Woohoo! Have you heard about relics? They can grant you a variety of abilities, like sprint shoes double your speed. Gauntlet lets you hold a weapon with both hands. The Knight's Code makes you shield others in combat. Dragon Boots let you perform jump attacks. You can equip up to two relics. Okay, that's pretty cool. So accessories that give you abilities. 
Potions may taste funny, but they also heal. If you are hurt, drink one. Sting in and we'll heal your whole party. Oh god, a monster in a box! What? So they do indeed have uh, mimics in this game, it seems. Okay, why couldn't you steal, man? Okay, so yeah, it looks like automatic does just do the last ability you did with that person in battle. Be careful, sometimes monsters lurk inside of treasure chests. Thanks. When selecting armor or weapons, uh, symbols will appear next to characters that can equip them. An upward pointing triangle is an increase, a downward is a decrease. Equal is no change, E is already equipped. Um, a symbol beneath the character means they are in your party. Excuse me, let me teach you how to ride a chocobo. Move forward like normal, change course by pressing A or D. A downward pointing arrow appears when it stops. You can dismount by pressing 6 when the arrow is displayed. Interesting. Okay. But be careful, it will return to its pin when you get off. Okay, so I can't go backward on a chocobo, only forward and then left or right to change its path. Okay. Uh, status effects are represented by different colors. Blue is a reflect. Yellow is protect. Okay. Uh, green is shell. Haste. Speed is... Okay. Red is haste. White is slow. Oh, so that's what that thing did. It slowed me down. And then pink is stop. Okay, cool. Thanks. Good to know. Defend command halves the damage. Okay. Uh, press... Press L or R to toggle between targeting one or all targets. Uh, enter battle commands once its window rises. Yep. I got that. Um, you can also set battle window navigation to tab or tab to tab left and tab right via input without scrolling. Okay. Okay. I, I think I see, but I'm fine with how it is, so. You can flee by pressing 9. Okay. So that the 9 is, is my R button. My R bumper, whatever. Get a sleeping bag. What's up, dude? Damage received by characters in the back row is halved, but so is attack. Um, to change rows, select them on the main menu and change them that way if you select a character. Or, okay, yeah, through the menu. I, I get that. That's common in, in the turn based Final Fantasies. The white numbers that appear during battle are damage, green is recovery. What's up, dude? Damage is more severe when you are surrounded. Right. Don't leave your back to an enemy. Got it. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. I think I can handle an advanced uh, tutorial. I think I get it. Shall I teach you about status effects? Sure. Invisibility. Okay, so physical attacks miss you, but spells will hit. Uh, and magic will turn you back visible. Imp doesn't let you use special skills or magic. Zombies um, zombies basically confuse, but you reverse it with holy water. If your skin is ashen, your HP is zero, and you're still moving, you're probably a zombie. Oh, that's cute. Um, sleep and confusion. You can get rid of those with the attack, with just being attacked. Okay. Undead creatures are damaged by curative stuff. Yep. Image status creates illusionary images of a character, making it difficult for enemies to hit the character. Okay. Uh, fire, ice, and lightning. Yeah. Those are the three elements. Done. Okay. Reflect remains active for just a short time. Let me to explain one of the specialized stuff. Runic absorbs magic and turns into MP. Okay. And that lasts until it's, it happens, or you put in another battle command. Trance will boost your attack and magic. Okay. Dance and rage. These commands are used continuously until the end of battle. Oh, so when I put dance on that person and made him do a dance, he was, like, doing maybe a dance to raise his attack or something, and that would, would have lasted for the rest of his turns. Interesting. Um, Re-raise automatically revives if KO'd. Regen gradually restores your hit points. Did I talk to you already? Yes. Okay. Anything 
anything in here? Nope. Something to note about Reflect. It doesn't block spells that have already been reflected once. You can use this to your advantage. Cast Reflect and then cast attack spells on that person to bounce them at an enemy. Yeah, that does make sense. Okay. Got a potion! Woohoo! What's up, dude? Desperate times can bring out strengths. Uh, critically wounded characters can sometimes perform hidden cool techniques. Okay. Bushido techniques are unleashed only after the power builds up. You can select actions for other characters while power builds up. Okay. So Bushido is like something special and there's other special attacks and there's just a whole bunch of random stuff. Cool. That was informative. Um, can I go buy like weapons and stuff? New stuff? Nope. Probably not. Is that... Hey! Nope, it sure is not. It's not safe here. We'd better hightail it south to Figaro. Okay, south to Figaro we go. Figaro, Figaro. Um, is there anything special we can equip on these guys? A mithril knife, which raises attack. Yes, let's do that. Can I do both hands? No. Yep, that's good. That's fine. No relics. Okay. Uh, you already have a mithril knife, which is better than a dagger. Uh, buckler is the best thing for you. Armor. Okay. Cool. We are all good then. Let's go ahead and save. So we don't have to do like the tutorial again and, and all the other stuff we've done. Okay. Hopefully it is this way and not along the coast. So it looked like there was another path along the coast that we did not take. Attack the leaf bunny. Cool. Okay. Oh, I can't go into the forest like on other games. That's sad. Other Final Fantasy games, it like, will actually put you in the forest and Okay, these are a little more difficult, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have you... You only have fire. Crap. Okay. Maybe we should go level up in the grasslands a little bit first before coming down here. Maybe we should... <coughs> excuse me. We should go up to the coast again and just follow the coast for a second and see where that goes. I mean, it's not like it's an issue having take more than one hit per enemy, but it would be cooler if we didn't have to. Okay, and it looks like she learned how to uh, cure poison, which is cool. Yeah, everyone just attack. Just kill them. Thank you. Let's go along the coast and see what's up here. Over here. Around here. Oh. Not a lot. Okay. I see. Okay. Well, that was a bust. I'll probably get a boat to go along that later, so... Cool. Yeah, I'll just let it auto-do these from now on, because, like, I ain't got time to be sitting here hitting attack all the time <laughs> and waiting for everyone's turns to come up. That ain't, that ain't the kind of life I want to live right now. Just go. Just murder them. Okay, at least I get more potions and stuff. Uh, doing all these fights. So yeah, it looks like the desert is my next stop. So we'll do one more battle and then we'll go into the desert. Maybe we will do a potion or two before we do that and maybe save. So let's go ahead and... Well, we could just do a sleeping bag, maybe. Sure. Oh, only one person's. Well, okay. Two sleeping bags. That's fine. Okay. Into the desert we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, nope. Gotta go 
not directly that way. We gotta go down. How far away is Figaro? Ooh, here's a cave. What's in here? Person with the chocobo. What's up, person with the chocobo? This cave leads to South Figaro. I'm afraid I can't let you through, though. Why not? Why? But I want to. I want to get through. How do I do this? I guess I don't. Okay. So many battles. So, I've been like- all oh, here it is. Okay. I was about to say, I've been all over. I don't know where. Whoops. I want to leave so that I can save. Didn't know where the stupid town was, but I found it. And it's apparently just a castle. Halt! Oh, it's you. Proceed. <laughs> okay. This is Figaro, the desert castle. Alright, we're just gonna waltz on in, I guess. What's up, dudes? Go and speak to the king. What if I don't want to speak to the king? Fine, I guess I'll go, but not because you're telling me to, because I want to. Hey, you person. You wouldn't know by looking at it, but the castle is loaded with advanced tech. For example, whoops, <laughs> it's, it's all top secret. I can't actually tell you any of it. I wonder if any of these do something, like open a secret passage. I'm sure they do, but I'm too lazy to try finding it right now. Not too lazy to explore, get all your phoenix downs and everything else. Yeah, nothing special up, up in here. Okay. What's up, random people over here? Go and speak to the king. Okay. What if I don't want to speak to the king? You mean this young woman is... What? What is Anne? What is she? What am I? What's going on here? Who, who are you? Oh, my apologies. How rude of me to turn my back on a lady on our very first meeting. Well, he is, uh... Something special. The young king of Figaro Castle, imperial ally, and champion of the technological revolution. Edgar. Yeah, he's definitely... He's something special. I'm Edgar, the king of Figaro. Heh, <laughs> surprised someone like me knows a king. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I'll catch you two later. So, you're an Imperial soldier, right? Don't worry. Figaro and the Empire are allies. Feel free to rest here for as long as you'd like. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Why are you being so kind to me? Is it because of my abilities? I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. I guess you're abilities would rank a distant third. Uh, what's the matter? Guess my technique's getting a bit rusty. I suppose a normal girl would have felt something from those words. But not me. Yep, I guess you're just a weirdo, Tara. Now sit in his chair. Wahahaha! <laughs> now I am king. 